Hello. I want to um, explain today how our water list urinals work. We've got 11 in this building. The purpose was to raise awareness for this technology which can be used as part of an EcoSan approach. It's only one part of the whole picture though. But um, we first had urinals from Uridan. This is a Danish company, here's an example. Uh, we had 11 of them. So you can see this is where the water used to come out for the flush urinals. Now this urinal, there's no rim that's easy to clean. Normally there's a rim for the flushing water. And um, the surface gets wiped three times in 24 hours to keep the odor down. And the other odor control mechanism is actually in here. So I've got here another piece to try and to show how this mechanism works. So this piece is the same as what is there at the bottom. So it's basically down here. And in this cylinder is a blocking fluid which is oil based and it comes in these little bottles. So this blocking fluid of oil is in here and the urine goes through but the odor from the sewer system can't come back up through the blocking fluid. And um, from time to time the blocking fluid has to be exchanged because there's a buildup of crystals in these tubes and uh, that's not a major cost item but it is a bit of a hassle because if you don't change it then you can have blockages and the blocking fluid will actually become visible. It's a blue liquid. But that also then indicates that it needs changing. And we now also have a new urinal, which is this one here. It's also waterless, from a German company called Kera Mag. And um, so at the moment we just have one of these, and we just installed it recently. And I just want to show you the mechanism for this one. It's uh, not using an oil. Um, let me just take this out. So, you can see there's a sieve here just to keep hair out or so and particles. And then it goes through this tube which is closed when not in use, so that keeps the odor away. But it slightly opens up when the urine goes through. And um, I could maybe demonstrate it under the tap. Because this also has to be cleaned regularly, because again there can be a build up of crystals and urine stone precipitates. This is how you would clean it and this is, you can see, the urine just flows through this tube. And I can also take these two things apart. So this is just the sieve and this is the, the rubber tube. One of these costs 17 euro. It has to be replaced maybe once or twice a year. But it has to be cleaned properly fortnightly but it's just cleaned like this. So, um, I'll just put it back together. Just pop it back in here. And you notice actually, before I put it in, there's additional odor now coming from the sewer, from this hole. So without this, it wouldn't be as odorless. And um, there you go. So um, there's also cheaper versions available made out of plastic. There's a South African design, I've got that also upstairs. <laughs> Becoming an expert in waterless urinals. But they're such an easy thing, most people don't have any complaints when they're using it. <laughs>